Okay, hi, I'm Agro Will. I was the person who was torturing Zack while he was playing Five Nights at Freddy at uh, on the Oculus Rift. And I really don't want to play this game because I'm a giant wuss. And I suppose a hypocrite, but mostly a giant wuss. And this is PT. <clears throat> I don't have a face cam, but you can just pretend I'm playing in pitch darkness and that I don't have, like, several floor lamps on. Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? Not sure if I should read that out loud or not, but I just did. Uh, obviously, this is the Silent Hills teaser demo. Uh, I'm probably going to either chicken out really fast or just go complete, you know, stupid. Because I'm absurdly squeamish and easily spooked. And sadly, Zack isn't here. I'm just playing in this, uh, well, not this dark room, but the apartment. It is fortunately not the same as this, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, no one here. So creepy. And headphones are on, so there's that. Kind of constantly looking over my shoulder. By the way, this looks incredible. This, this whole, this whole shot, it's the light effects, it's the texture, and it just looks real. And that's kind of pretty incredible. I mean, this is this is honestly the first time I saw PS4 footage and thought, you know what? Yeah, this is next gen. This is this looks like it is straight out of a Slenderman video. And um, yeah, so we're gonna get a bit creepy. <sighs> I, I, I've seen playthroughs of this like several times, and I'm still gonna be just chickened out. I, I just. <clears throat> I'm already getting kind of freaked out. Police arriving and on scene after let's just listen to the radio. Found the father in his car listening uh, to the radio. Okay. Several days before the murders, neighbors say yes, they were, heard the father there were murders, the someone went nuts, a uh, father did something. We don't even know if this is going to have anything to do with Silent Hill. This is just like a thematic look at what happens when you have Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro work together. And it's kind of awesome and really terrifying. Uh, incidentally, this is not mugging. I don't I don't like mugging for the microphone or camera or whatever. But yeah, when you are nervous, you just sort of keep rambling like this because it's better than listening to the actually really good sound design. It's all just very. Look at this focus. I, I know I'm talking about how much of a wuss I am, but just the the. Hey, the flat focus, and like you see the sharpness of the corner, and it's blurry. It's like you're looking through actual eyes. None, none of this like lens flare bullshit that everything is just so fake. This just looks great. Obviously, it doesn't look quite as good if you, um, you know, look really close at some of the details of the things. But it just looks really good. And yeah, this is where it starts to get creepy. It, this is just. You have the creakiness, and it sounds kind of like a cat. But okay, this there's nothing here, and yeah, just really good lighting effects. I'm going to just alternate between being really impressed by this stuff, like technically. There we go. Now we can be freaked out. I'm just gonna lean back in my chair. You might hear some creaking, cause um, uh, yeah. Hi, buddy. You gonna open the door? I'll just go back this way. Instantly, this whole thing, the the impossible architecture that it's a hallway, and you go down, and it's the same hallway. That is terrifying. Because, you know, any any normal horror experience, you're thinking, okay, you can go beyond these... I know that door's gonna close. I've seen this played through before. I've actually played it for a few minutes before, before I chickened out. And... Uh, the, oh... Okay. Um, I kind of wonder if this is actually triggered by my nervous talking, too. And if so, bravo. And if not, well, we are... But I heard knocking. But yeah, impossible architecture. I mean, you know, there are windows, there's a door outside, but you, you can't go there. It's not part of the universe in which you exist. The entire uni... Oh, okay. Oof. The entire universe. Yeah, every... I'm jumping at every sound. I've seen this before. And now that... Okay, I guess it's not 
Um, huh. The the entire like you're you're in this tiny universe that you cannot escape. There's nothing behind these doors. Or there's nothing behind like the door you really want to go through, the front door. There's only the loop and returning to increasingly twisted and messed up versions of the same hallway. Like descent into hell. This is this is kind of like the platonic ideal of uh SCP the um Okay, let's just get this over with. I'm just gonna lie back. And, okay, there's gonna be something creepy. Yeah. Ah! I knew it was there, and I still yelped. What the hell is wrong with me? Whew. Uh, let's see. I'm also timing this because of the PlayStation 14-minute um, limit. Let's see if I can last the whole time, because I'm... I'm not a horror game guy. I loved Eternal Darkness, but... Besides that... Yeah, not so much. Oof. So it's uh, it's September, and hi, buddy. Um, I'm gonna move the headset a little bit, just cause the uh, the, you know, I'm just gonna walk toward. Okay, great. I want to run. I want to run. No. It's. This is so effective. It's just sound design and lighting in a very limited, tense atmosphere. And yet it's still freaking me the hell out after I've seen it played so many times before. And... Uh, I'm so impressed by this. I kind of hate that I'm... too chicken to actually, like, breathe it in, you know? Uh... Um, gotta be honest, not sure what to do with this. Oh, good. Flashlight. And... Yeah, you just... You know. That, all right. Now there's gonna be something creepy through here. You know it. I think. Yep. Uh. And shoulders. But that corpse baby zombie doesn't have dandruff. Oh, right, need to... Uh, hi, Eraserhead! I know that wasn't his nick. You know, let's just keep going. Incidentally, see Eraserhead. It's a great movie. I, I really want to leave. Just right now. And just showing how much of a coward I am, the, um... You know, sure, let's look. Uh, seeing how much of a coward I am, the, uh, my headset kind of fell. Because, yeah. Um. Also, this actually is kind of like, uh. It's, it's, it's not just like a haunted house. You have to kind of figure out a few things, like, the house is... It is something that it, it wants you to do things. And you need to figure out what it is. It is a dark master. Symbolizing your guilt, and pretty soon things just flip the fuck out. And yeah, I'm just... Anyway, it is uh, September, and Halloween's here, which means, and this is really cool... Um, oh, I just know I'm going to be attacked. Uh, it means that... I want to run! Um, Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Booberry are all at Target. So, tonight I made uh, Franken Booberry Crispy Treats. And uh, they turned out pretty well. I think I need to find pieces of this thing. Okay! Uh, weird. Yeah, just ugh, creepy video stuff. You know what? I'm about ready to give up and play some Rezogun, because Rezogun is really fun. And I'm... Okay. Once again. I've seen this played through like three, four times. And I still yelped like a little girl. 
So uh, yeah, I'm gonna play something else. I have Resogun, I have Velocity 2X, I have Destiny. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Bye.